Hello everyone, today is 31st of August and today I'm using Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. And let's see what do we have. And this card immediately has fallen down. Wow, it's Kalima. I'm very feeling blessed because there are certain hierarchies in, even in... Uh, goddesses uh, if you know something about mahavidyas if you, you are aware of that maybe you know that starting from kamla the or goddess lakshmi you if you go higher on the order kali is on the top so i'm quite blessed to see her and then we have Archangel Michael and I know these two cards are talking about two very different fates because Archangel Michael comes from an Abrahamic uh, tradition and then uh, Goddess Kali is from the Hindu tradition and what immediately when I saw these two cards they were telling that they are in the same team. It's we who have uh, put them in different traditions. They are in the same team. And then we have Lady Nada Heart Awakening and then we have the Shekina Sacred Self. And Master Jesus forgiveness. So Goddess Kali here is in this deck at least is talking about overcoming your fears by witnessing them by taking them head on and then the Archangel Michael is bringing the message of that there is enough support for you from the heaven to Handle your fears and move forward in life. And then Heart Awakening by Lady Nada, which is saying that somewhere in your heart, you are moving forward in life. And then Sacred Self and Forgiveness cards are saying that, yes, you have to understand that you are quite secret and you are quite spiritual and you have done a whole lot of things which you would not consider as spiritual, which was very much 3D, like competing with each other, pulling each other down and everything. But you need to forgive yourself. You are living in this Mahamaya and you really have to uh, acknowledge that you really cannot move away from them uh, the what i mean by them here is you cannot move away from everything that comes in this 3d world jealousy and all those things you cannot move away with them but you can only learn to handle them in a more uh, spiritual way so that you can move away from the 3d world to and have access to a higher world so while you are still living as a human being you can relate to higher consciousness and connect to a higher self so what i'm getting here is that there are certain fears that are bothering you that are pulling you down constantly maybe it's fear of uh, money maybe you don't have enough financial wealth maybe you don't have enough love maybe you don't have enough uh, support from your family members or your team members at workplace whatever it is you or it all exists and you fear that you don't have all of that whatever it may be Sometimes it might be your perception. Sometimes it might be your reality. Either ways, you need to face it. 
and you need to find a solution in a very grounded way, in a more spiritual way. Because, and the reason why I'm saying grounded because the solutions will come from within you. It won't come from other people. Yeah, the solution implementation of that solution might be involved with interaction with a lot of people around you but the ultimate solution will come from within you so first of all you need to acknowledge that you are fearful because you were competing with a lot of things a lot of people for resources love affection money promotion you were competing and you need to forgive yourself. You, you cannot feel bad for that because the whole system is designed in that way. But it's the realization that you were doing that and you can still get everything, all that I just said about, all the list of things that I just said, money, love, promotion, anything that you wanted, you can still get that without struggling for it and being in a blissful state, you need to realize that, accept that, and then move forward in life. So that's the message for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye and namaste.